Hello traders and welcome to Stock Goodies Chart School. Bollinger band width is an indicator derived from Bollinger bands. It measures the percentage difference between the upper band and the lower band. Bandwidth decreases as Bollinger Bands narrow and increase as Bollinger Bands widen. Falling bandwidth reflects decreasing volatility and rising bandwidth reflects increasing volatility. The bandwidth indicator can be used to identify the Bollinger Band squeeze. This alerts chartists to prepare for a move, but direction depends upon the subsequent band break. A squeeze and break above the upper Bollinger Band is bullish, while a squeeze and break below the lower band is bearish. Now let's go ahead and load up the Bollinger Band width here on this chart for RGEN here at StockCharts.com. Scroll down into the Chart Attributes area and let's go ahead and load up the Bollinger Bands in the overlay section set at the standard setting of 20 comma 2 and down here in the indicators you will be selecting Bollinger Band Width. Click Update and there are your Bollinger Bands. The upper and lower and the middle if you recall is the 20 period simple moving average. Down here is your Bollinger Band width signal line. When it is low, that means that volatility is low and the bands are pinching together. When it is high, that means volatility is high and the bands are spread very far apart. Okay. What they're talking about with the squeeze is down here when it's at its lowest and the Bollinger Bands the lower goes up and pinches together or squeezes right in this area. They are squeezing or pinching together. And what that signals is a period of consolidation. You know, a stock cannot go sideways forever. So the longer it goes sideways, the tighter the bands pinch. And it predicts that volatility will increase because it's been through a period of no volatility. It does not say which direction the break will be but it does say that a a move is coming a little bit more volatility than what we're used to in this case it broke down below the lower Bollinger Band which is bearish here's another squeeze right here the upper starts pinching together with the lower they get real tight here it's a fairly low reading on the bandwidth indicator and big volume comes in and sends it from seven dollars up to about 950 in a couple of weeks okay then it goes through a period of consolidation where it goes mostly sideways but forms a bullish cup and handle chart pattern and when the Bollinger Bands squeeze right here it's got a very low reading on the bandwidth indicator and the stock breaks out on the bullish chart pattern then forms a shooting star and breaks right through the middle Bollinger Band area of support and falls to the lower Bollinger Band. There was also another squeeze right here in this area where they squeeze together here and here before the fall and going below the lower Bollinger Band is bearish. Okay, here's another squeeze right here with the upper Bollinger Band going down, the lower Bollinger Band going up. They're squeezing together right here. Again, it's a low reading on the indicator and really nice volume comes in and sends it up to the upper Bollinger Band, pushing it up for about two weeks from roughly eight dollars to almost ten okay now the Bollinger Bands are starting to pinch again it did break out to new highs on good volume right here but the Bollinger Bands are starting to pinch the upper is turning down the lower is coming up to meet it now let's take a look at the Bollinger Band width indicator on this chart of INVN. As you can see there's lots of squeezes here, lots of low readings. On this first one, the lowest reading on the chart so far, 
the bands were pinching together pretty good and it immediately broke below the lower Bollinger Band which was bearish okay here's another squeeze right here it breaks down again here's another squeeze right here it goes down again this is where it turns and starts getting above the middle Bollinger Band and becoming bullish must have been some good news here or a good earnings report because it gapped up from about nine to eleven dollars on this day okay and the Bollinger Band spread apart because that was a very volatile move okay and then it pulls back finds support at the middle Bollinger Band it consolidates in this area kind of runs flat the Bollinger Band's pinch right here here's the pinch and then it breaks out to new highs comes back finds support the Bollinger Band's pinch again here and here breaks out to new highs comes back and finds support at the middle Bollinger Band again here's another pinch and then it breaks out to new highs again now let's take a look at SWFT okay right here this was a huge area of volatility as it gapped up at the open from a close at just over 10 to at about an open of 12 it ran to 13 that day, closed very close to the high, so that's why the Bollinger Band shot straight up. Then it went through a long period of consolidation with kind of a bearish chart pattern with a head, shoulder, two left shoulders, a couple of right shoulders, so it broke down. Okay, Bollinger Band squeezed right here just before it happened, so that was the break below the lower Bollinger Band that's bearish, but it immediately bounced to the upper. Okay, the next time they squeeze is right in here. That's a pretty low reading on the bandwidth indicator. And the Bollinger Bands pinched real tight or squeezed together. Some good volume came in and it broke out to new highs above all this old resistance over here. Okay, so it kept running. A lot of tall upper wicks here signaled a reversal where the Bollinger Bands pinched again just before the big fall below the lower Bollinger Band. So that was a very tight reading on this squeeze right here, which also broke down. So this one broke down when they squeezed. This one broke up when they squeezed. And this one broke down when they squeezed. Now let's take a look at GAME, G-A-M-E. This was an extremely long period of consolidation at $3 where it just it didn't move. So there is a very low reading on the bandwidth indicator. Right here is a pretty nice pinch as volume comes in. It sends it breaking out to new highs above all areas of resistance in the past. And again, pretty good volume as it breaks out again to new highs. Then it enters a period of consolidation for over a month. The Bollinger Bands squeeze together because of lack of volatility. That means that a move in either direction is coming soon. It does not say which direction, but in this case, big green volume came in way above average for the last month and sent it breaking out above all levels of resistance here. Okay, even bigger volume sent it higher into blue sky territory above this level of resistance on really good volume and the Bollinger Bands spread apart, meaning that this is an area of extreme volatility. Now let's take a look at LPTH. This one also had a long period of consolidation with a low bandwidth reading. And then right here, on really good volume, the biggest on the chart at the time, it broke out from about 80 cents to a dollar fifty in what looks like five or six sessions. Okay, biggest volume at the top on that beautiful tall white candle that closed very close to the high of the day. Then it went into a period of consolidation and it was about a month long so the Bollinger Bands pinched together or did the Bollinger Band squeeze and again volume the biggest in one month comes in and sends it breaking out to the upside above the upper Bollinger Band which is bullish and above all of this resistance right in here into blue sky territory where it started pushing the upper Bollinger Band up so this is a great example of a squeeze when big volume comes in 
That was actually a bullish kind of looking chart pattern, a falling wedge and an uptrend. Okay, so it's the volume is what did it though. And this volume right here sent it up into blue sky territory again. And then the biggest volume on this chart right here two days ago sent it breaking up into blue sky territory again. And now the Bollinger Bands are starting to pinch again and the lower one should again provide it with a level of support as it moves up rather quickly here as it consolidates.